Uh, hey, yo, what's up, gamers? Welcome back to another video. It's me again, Bill Sotel. <sighs> I'm feeling extremely annoyed because I've recorded this video three times already, and my computer does not save the videos. So yeah, sorry if I seem kind of annoyed, it's just that I'm very annoyed. Anyways, today I'm going to be telling you guys about the things that I'm learning in high school. Um, I've made videos like this before, and those videos got good comments, positive comments. Um, number one class that I'm doing, fashion. Fashion is my favorite class. We're making scrunchies, because you see, initially, like, throughout this entire term, we had to make, like, like, bags, but I've already finished that, and then we had to make cheeky toys, and then I already finished that. Now we're just making scrunchies until the end of term. I made these scrunchies. This one, this one is, look, it matches my shirt, look. Like, basically perfectly. It's purple and it has white and it has, it has all of that on it. And then there's, um, the, I have a white one. And it, I like it because it's sparkly and it's soft and it's fluffy and it's silvery. And also, look, wait, look, you can see my monster hideos in the background. Wait, yeah, the white, it can illuminate the screen, right, and make it clearer for you guys to see my monster hideo collection and my hairspray. That's epic. Um... In product design class, we are making passive amplifiers. Passive amplifiers is the thing. It's a kind of device where you, where you put your phone in it. And then there's audio things. There's tubes or something on the side. Like an amphitheater. And it, it, the audio pushes out. And because of the shape of the device, it gets, the device, it gets amplified. And that's cool. And we're doing that. And I, we started constructing it a few days ago. I'm doing very well. The product design dude, he, d he does not care about me. He always goes around helping the other kids. If I try to ask for help, he disregards my comments and still helps the other kids. But that's alright because I found a solution to that. And it's just to do it. Do your, you do your work, even if you have no clue what you're doing. Today I had to use a, today I decided to use a bandsaw to cut out my heart-shaped thingy. I have no clue how to use a bandsaw. I think I did it properly. Um, well, I cut the wood. I did not cut it straight, but I cut it, and I'm proud of that. And then I saw some girl sanding her thing um, with some tool, and so I decided to clamp my piece of wood to the bench, and then I grabbed a tool that I thought looked similar to the one that the girl was using. And I think that it's for sanding, and now I'm trying to sand it for some reason. I, I, I have no clue what I'm doing. But it looks epic, and I'm excited to finish it. Um, in English, we are learning about Matariki, the star constellation thingy. I don't really know, and I don't really care, but whatever. We just did some coloring in thingy. Um, and also, we, we got our feedback from the creative writing guy. Well, actually, no. By we, I meant my classmates. Because my favorite teacher, Mr. Ladder, he's my English teacher. Um, he was going around last week giving everyone's feedback back. Um, and he did everyone else's ones except for mine. So today, as we were learning about Matariki, I had to come up to him and I was just like, Hey, Mr. Ladder. Um... So you forgot to give me my feedback back for my creative writing. <laughs> can I, can I have that please? And he was just like, oh yeah, I, I thought that I forgot something. And then he went and he grabbed my, the paper and he just sat down and briefly went through it. I got excellence, of course. He really liked my creative writing. It was about an alien with a cat allergy. Um... He said that it was very original and unique and very well written. Um, and it was kind of hard for him to understand, but in a way that it was good. Because the whole point of it was to show, not tell. Um, I wrote it in like two periods. So, like, I mean, I tried. Even though it had like the whole term. I was mainly playing bubble shooter. I finished the creative writing in two terms. And then I rest of it. I had bubble shoot. Shoot. Okay, sorry, I just need to cut the video. You see, 
no, I'd like to read reiter- like reiterate because you know how at the start of the video I was talking about how um like sometimes my video it it it, it, it does not save. I recorded that that bit that you just saw, right? And then I I cut the video. I I paused the video. I made a new video and I started re like I, the the rest of the video. I already recorded the rest of the video, and then I clicked off it and it don't did not save. This is annoying. So far, it has taken me thirty minutes to get to this point. This is annoying. My computer is making me angry. Um, anyways, well, so, oh yeah, that's right, in math, we are doing vectors, vectors are basically, you, there's a number, there's another number, there's, it's in brackets, you have to move the shapes on the grid accordingly, uh, when am I ever going to use this, um, and also we have a test on Friday, so, yay, fun, I'm going to pass that with flying colours, in science, we're learning about mass versus weight, mass is the thing about kilograms, Kilogram it measures the amount of mass, matter, atoms in a thing, whereas weight, weight is a gravity dependent force. Pulling down like grab it measured in newtons. That's all I remember. I don't. Yeah. Anyways, and s- oh yeah, guys. By the way, it's been the International Black Belt Brides Day. Go and stream the music video for Knives and Pens. It came out 15 years ago today. Go listen to Black Bow Brides, Black Bow Brides Appreciation, Black Bow Brides Endorsement. My bangs are gappy, that's annoying. Hold on. Better. Okay. In social studies, we need to make a front page article for a newspaper. You can choose from three natural disasters. You can choose from the Japanese, the the 2011 earthquake, tsunami. Or you could do the one that the movie Impossible was based off of. Or you could do the 2011 Christchurch earthquake. Um, I'm horrible at geography. I don't know any of the countries other than New Zealand. Basically, I that's that's not true. I know that there's America, and some other places, other than New Zealand, Japan, Japan, that's a country, and Russia, and and Australia, and Germany, and and Las Vegas. I don't know. Anyways, um, so yeah, I'm doing the 2011 Christchurch earthquake because it's the most close to home. Literally. I live in New Zealand. I don't live in Christchurch, but it's, it's close. It's closer than the other countries. Um. So yeah, we're doing that and I'm almost, we, we started it today, the front page of the newspaper article thingy. I've basically done it. The other kids around me, they have done no work. So I was laughing at them silently. In my head, I was laughing at them. Not the nicest thing in the world, but who cares? Because, like, I mean, hot. I'm almost done and they've done nothing. That's funny. They were, they were busy talking and building relationships with each other. And I don't know the names of my classmates. I mean, I know a few of the kids' names. But I don't pay attention to that. I I like listening to hear them talk about things. It's like a nice podcast. Go stream my podcast, by the way. Oh yeah, what other classes are we doing? Oh yeah, and P, we're doing badminton. I'm surprisingly good at that. And, um, yeah, I think that's about it. Um, go do your homework so you can be, don't need to do any actual work, just play bubble shooter like me. Um, another thing you should do, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get all the latest updates. Bye-bye.